At the top of the Burj Khalifa, this spire appears relatively diminutive. Private access is not granted to this point, nor are the floors within it extensively utilized. However, the importance of this spire within the Burj Khalifa is such that its absence could potentially jeopardize the structural integrity of the entire building. The construction of this spire was imperative for the engineering team, and completing this task in any possible manner was of utmost necessity. The spire atop the Burj Khalifa is a skyscraper, not dwarfed in height by a mere measure. Constructed from 400 tons of steel, this 244-meter-high spire houses an apex that weighs a mere 350 tons. If this entire spire were removed, the height of the Burj Khalifa would diminish by 30%, leaving it at a mere 585 meters. This is the elevation at which the final accessible public floor, the 154th floor, is located. From here, the spire commences and rises to culminate at the top of the Burj Khalifa. Within the spire, floors have been built from the 155th to the 163rd floor. However, it is astonishing to note that these floors are entirely uninhabitable. This is due to the fact that during strong winds, the entire spire sways up to six feet. Yes, this is not a flaw but rather, the swaying of the spire is an advanced feature. The geographical location of Dubai is such that on one side lies the Arabian Gulf, while on the other side is the Gulf of Oman. Dubai is destined for swift maritime winds, and at the elevation of the Burj Khalifa's apex, the gusts of high-speed winds easily reach velocities of up to 240 km per hour. American structural engineer William Baker was the first to devise a design for the Burj Khalifa that not only resisted wind, but also perplexed it. When swift winds collide with the structure, energy is generated. This energy must find an outlet somewhere. If this energy were to escape into the main core, it could potentially induce cracks in the concrete. Consequently, the spire was not connected to the central core using buttresses. Rather, it was constructed from steel. As you are aware, steel is a flexible material. The energy generated by the winds is transferred into the steel structure of the spire. This causes the top of the Burj Khalifa to sway. Engineers have meticulously designed it so that it sways only up to six feet. This device installed on the spire not only safeguards Dubai from perilous atmospheric lightning but also serves as a lightning arrester for the world's tallest skyscraper's apex. This device features a small sensor that detects active charges within the surrounding clouds. The lightning arrester generates an opposing charge that attracts the lightning towards itself. Subsequently, the steel wire conducts the billions of volts of charge safely down into the ground beneath the building. Due to the lightning arrester atop the spire being superior to those on other buildings, it not only shields the Burj Khalifa but also diverts millions of volts of current away from the entirety of Dubai. To date, this lightning arrester has effectively discharged its duty 16 to 20 times. When strong winds collide with any building, vortices are generated on the building's windward side, commonly referred to as vortices. These vortices are packets of low-pressure air that cause the building to experience lateral vibrations. Once a building begins to sway even slightly, these vortices greatly amplify this motion. This phenomenon is known as resonance. In the case of the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, structural engineer William Baker devised a design that not only resisted the wind, but also baffled it. Upon closer inspection, you'll notice that the decks of the Burj Khalifa are not uniformly stacked on top of each other. Rather, they are staggered, meaning each deck is slightly offset from the one above or below it. Consequently, when the wind strikes the Burj Khalifa, the vortices generated behind each floor are distinct from one another. Their frequencies do not align with the tower's natural frequency. This deliberate mismatch prevents the vortices from synchronizing with the tower's natural frequency, thus avoiding resonance. 
This is why, for the past 13 years, the world's tallest building has effectively withstood the confusing onslaught of strong winds, remaining structurally sound. If you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe to Wonderful Stories, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next amazing video.